For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. Our next stop heading south along the east coast is Assateague Island National Seashore in Berlin, Maryland. We were in site A24 in the Bayside Campground with no hookups. This was a large campsite with an asphalt pad big enough for our RV and car. We pulled in so that we had a view of the marsh throughout our front window. There are three campgrounds in the Assateague National Seashore. The first is the Bayside Drive-In Campground, available for tents, trailers, and recreational vehicles. There are no hookups. All sites have a picnic table and fire ring. There is one section where generators are not allowed, and it is located in the Bayside B Loop. The sites are $30 a night. We paid $15 per night with our America the Beautiful Pass. As you can see, all the sites are paved and easy to get in and out of. Many of the sites are pull-through while others are back in sites. The Oceanside Drive-In Campground also accommodates tents, trailers, and recreational vehicles. It has no hookups. The sites have a picnic table and fire ring, and the cost is $30 per night. We were not able to get into this campground this time around. The third campground, which we don't have a video of, is the Oceanside Walk-In. This is for tents only, located 100 to 200 feet from the centralized parking areas. Same thing, these sites have picnic tables and fire rings, and the sites are $30 per night. The campground was very bicycle friendly. We rode our bikes over to the beach a few times. The roads were nicely paved and smooth and the trails were wide and easy to ride. There are several miles of bike trails that wind through the island in both Maryland and Virginia. You can stay within the park or ride to the visitor center and over the bridge. We stayed close to the campground because there was so much to do and see while we were there. Here we are walking out on the beach. We just rode our bikes up here. I guess this is Oceanside South Beach. That's where we're located. Very nice this morning. Monday, not too many people out, which is really nice. So I can get my picture in the beach behind us. Joe into the Atlantic. Looks a little rough out there. The trail is home to many plants and small animals such as wolf spiders and the hognose snake. We did not see any of these while we were there. There was a portion of the Baltimore Boulevard along the trail which was destroyed in a storm in 1962. We're on another trail. This is a forest trail. one of my favorite parks so far. I think it's Assateague. I think that's where we are. We're in Maryland. Well, we know where we are. Well, we, we know where we are. We just don't know how to say it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, we can kind of see all around us. Hopefully I'm moving the GoPro slow enough. Not tricky. Actually, it is, actually it's October 31st, no it's not, it's October 26th I think, yep. and we're in Maryland, it's about 72 degrees today, we're really liking this weather, we're on our bikes out and about.
this is the marsh trail that we're walking on. It's really nice, the boardwalk. We enjoyed watching the wild horses from a distance. They really feel at home in the park and came right up to the campsite night and day. Our campsite looked out over the marsh and this horse was way out near the water in front of our campsite. I was a little nervous when we had to ride our bikes near the horses. All went well and they did not even seem to notice us. These two horses are just standing in the middle of the road. Cars aren't going past, we're just watching them. I think they like each other. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.